In video games, there are times when a sprite is always facing into the camera no matter which direction the camera faces. This technique is called billboarding. Billboards are essentially 2D elements encrusted in a 3D world that will always look towards the player's camera, giving the illusion of making itself 3D. In older games, they were mainly used for 2D characters and objects in a 3D environment to save on memory. In most modern games today, this is mainly used for things like smoke particles, clouds, fire, and grass. Today, we will be recreating that technique in Blender. This works with pretty much any version of Blender, so you don't have to be using the latest version. For this tutorial, I will be using Blender version 2.8 beta. However, this will work with any other previous version of Blender. This is going to be pretty quick, so let's get started. Click on your object that you want to billboard. In this case, mine is this grass texture plane, and go to the Constraints tab in the Properties panel. Click Add Object Constraint, and click on Locked Track under Tracking. Since we want our sprite to always be facing into the camera, we want to make our camera the target. So you can select your camera through the target menu, or you can use the eyedropper to select it from the 3D viewport. Your sprite may be rotated weirdly, and that's because we didn't tell Blender how we want it to behave. We want our sprite to only be rotating on the Z-axis, and lock it from rotating on the Y-axis. We're halfway done. If we take a look at our sprite now, when moving around the camera in our scene, we can see that our sprite is always facing the direction of the camera no matter where it moves. So now, let's go back to our properties panel and add another locked track constraint. Select our target again as the camera, set it to only rotate it on the z-axis again, but this time, we're gonna lock it on the x-axis. If we take a look at it now, when we move around the camera, our sprite now faces up, completely facing into the camera. You've now successfully recreated billboarding in Blender. But now, let's say you're using this spray in a particle system for maybe something like smoke, aura, or grass. For this example, I'm going to be using a grass particle system. Be sure that the spray that your particle system is using is already billboarding. Now, I'm going to go to my particle system settings in the particles tab. I'm going to activate our spray onto our particle system, so I'm going to go to the render menu down here. Click on the render as drop down menu and change it from none to object. Then in the object submenu, click on the instance object drop down menu or the eyedropper and select your sprite. Now our particle system is active. However, notice how the grass sprites are facing the wrong direction, completely facing away from the camera. And that's because we need to give it the same rotation as our sprite object. So go back down to the object submenu and we can find a checkbox that says object rotation. When we click on it, this tells the particles to use the same rotation as our sprite object. Your particles should now be rotated correctly facing into the camera. Or it can be rotated weirdly, just like in my example here. So let's fix that. I'm going to close my render menu in the particle settings and go to my rotation menu. We can fix this by going to the orientation axis drop down menu and choosing whichever coordinates works for our sprite. You might want to play around with these to see which one fixes the rotation. In most cases, just selecting it to none works, but here I'm going to choose mine to global x as my axis orientation. Now we can see that the grass particles now faces towards the camera. Now I'm going to test it out by seeing what our billboards look like through the camera's view just like in a game. I'm going to press N on my keyboard to open the sidebar here. I'm going to check the lock camera to view and then go into my camera view. If we move around the 3D viewport inside the camera, we can follow the camera's view and we can see that our particles are always facing us no matter which direction we face. And that pretty much wraps it up on how you can replicate sprite billboards in Blender. I think this can really come of good use when animating certain things with Blender's EV engine. If you found this tutorial helpful or at least learned something new from this video, be sure to give this video a like so that more people can find this video. It has been a whopping 8 months since my last tutorial, but I'm happy to say that I am back from hibernation. Thanks for watching.